Well, here we are at the ADAC Sim Racing Expo with Marco Masaruto, co-founder and executive manager of Kuno Simulazioni, developers of Assetto Corsa Evo or Evo? Evo. We, Why Evo? Because we want to keep the Italian pronounce of this word. That means evoluzione. <laughs> of course, it uh, means uh, evolution. Yeah. But uh, we want to keep the, you know, the, the, the Italian uh, character of okay. the Assetto Corsa franchise that is 100% uh, uh, made in Italy. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that Italian DNA goes right the way through all the games. And from what I've seen, it does with Evo, nearly said Evo. Evo. Evo, yeah. <laughs> right. So I want to ask you a number of things about, about the game. Uh, my colleague John has just played it for the first time. Yeah. I'll play it very soon. And the public can play it at, at this event. So before I ask about the game per se, why at, be at this event? What's so early on? Yeah. Bit of, a, bit of a risk, but it's also really cool for the public to try the game. Sure. Why? Yeah. Well, because uh, we uh, just unveiled uh, a few weeks ago the, the official trailer. Yeah. The game was expected to be released uh, this year, uh, within the end of the summer. And uh, we decided to keep, uh, to take uh, a bit more uh, time to refine uh, uh, some details <laughs> about the game. But the Sim Expo actually is the, the main exhibition for uh, our business, if we talk about simulators and simulation journey. So, and we have a, a, a really a passionate uh, audience here. To us, it's uh, quite important to see if we are doing these uh, uh, things right. Because the feedback we get from the audience uh, actually is uh, the final judge of uh, our job. I see. So, it's quite better to see in advance uh, if there are some critical points that uh, we can fix uh, before the release of the game rather than uh, after. Uh, we presented the, the first Assetto Corsa at the very last minute at the Gamescom uh, uh, 2012. Right. Also the Fanatec uh, booth, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was quite a success. We were so scared that time because uh, it was uh, too early. <laughs> so, and there were a lot of expectations about uh, the, the, the first Assetto. Right. Uh, and eventually the, 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 the feedback we got was uh, far better than we, we can imagine. Uh, we decided to, to bring the, the Evo uh, build here, in a specific build, to let people uh, to, to try it, uh, to see and try to test it with uh, their own feedback, their own eyes and so on. And also because uh, it's also for us a very good stress test uh, to get ready and in good shape for the public release in general. I see, so it's all about gathering feedback yeah. to make it better. And also keeping the our dev team focus okay. on the on the release. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Because also it's just from our side, it's great that the public can try something so early at an event that's so important as yeah. well, right? It's Absolutely. only the third ever Assetto Corsa title. A lot of anticipation, a lot of hype. Absolutely. And some of that came from the trailer. I just want to touch upon the trailer. Yeah. Expertly voiced over, I might add, by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, there was a lot of, let's say, teasers and things we could talk about. I see. I just want to mention one thing first. It did say in-game footage. Yeah. Was it actually? 110% in-game footage. Okay. Also because, you know, we don't have, not the time or the skill <laughs> to make CGI <laughs> <laughs> effects or things yeah. like this. Uh, they are, the new Asset Corsa engine has been uh, designed from scratch uh, for raising content. Yeah. Uh, this is the reason why maybe it, it looks uh, good, we hope. Uh, but it is uh, specifically designed to render the best uh, cars, tracks, uh, and uh, the racing and automotive uh, scenario. So uh, we like that people believe that it's not in game footage, but it's 100% in game. Okay, right. And we'll show you that, uh, yeah. I guess, uh, this or next week. Okay, all right. Yeah. We'll keep our eyes peeled then. Yeah. Looking forward to that. So I have to take your word for it. It's in game. And anyway, they can, uh, they see, can see it here now. Is, uh, in... Yeah. No, no tricks here. No <laughs> tricks, yeah. No, I've, I've seen it and it does look uh, really impressive. For the upcoming right hander, break 30 meters later and ease off the pressure. For this hairpin, turn in 20 meters earlier and focus on smoother throttle exit.
what would you say, in your own words, Evo is? Is it like a just a motorsport simulator? Is it a car culture title, automotive passion? Uh, or is it a combination of, of all these things? You know, how, how different is it from the previous set of courses? It's a combination of things because we want to feed uh, uh, different kind of tastes. Yeah. Uh, people want to race. Uh, the esports in the last years uh, grown so much. Right, and okay. we want to uh, make uh, Evo eligible for official esports competitions. Right, okay. So, yeah, for, so esports is still a part of it? Absolutely. Uh, track racing is absolutely in our uh, DNA. This yeah. is the reason why we started to do, to do yeah. uh, this job, actually. But we believe that uh, also uh, the pleasure, just the pleasure of driving, is something that uh, people like to, ex to experience a lot in the, in the first assetto. We, we saw a lot of uh, modern content with people just uh, driving on the roads uh, with the pleasure of driving. And uh, since uh, Assetto Corsa is 100% uh, a pure uh, uh, racing and driving simulation, but we want to uh, brighter our audience. Uh, okay. We don't want to give up in terms of realism and just to uh, get more people interest. Also because uh, working a lot also on the physics and the handling uh, model of uh, Evo, we made it even better in terms of uh, feeling and handling. When you get a better feeling, uh, actually, cars uh, feel uh, easier to drive because okay. you understand uh, better what the car is doing because you're more you can react to... uh, yeah. much better okay but uh, we want to uh, raise a, a wider audience and uh, we don't give up in terms of realism so we are working on those aspects that maybe uh, were a lack in the first set of course titles like the gameplay or uh, a career mode yeah or something like that, uh, or give people more uh, reasons and more scopes to okay. to play the game every day. Okay, so my interpretation of what you've just said is we're, we're still got the serious physics, they're even better. We still want 110%. to use this as a platform for esports as well, yeah. but there's more car culture and there'll be some sort of career mode and you know automotive fans can, can be involved as well. You know, sometimes at the end of the day, you just want to drive for our half hour before uh, right, okay, yeah. uh, before dinner, yeah. and you don't want to make it to get you focused, or you don't have the time yeah. uh, uh, for making setups or making a race, uh, or be too focused or too concentrated because you are so tired and so on. But you want just to add some relax, having the pleasure okay. to drive, to customize your car, to look at your collection of cars, things like this. You can do that. Okay, so it should encompass. Everybody. Absolutely. But keep the hardcore happy. That's the aim. Absolutely. Okay. So. Even because if we give up uh, in yeah. terms of realism and um, car and track accuracy, yeah. Set of course uh, is done. It's gone. So. Okay. I'll hold we you. We are never that. going to give <laughs> yeah. up uh, on that. Good. Here's this is the main reason why people choose a set of course. So yeah, right. Okay. It would not make sense to give no, up no, no. on one of the strongest points of this franchise. Okay, good. Because. In the, in the trailer, there were some cars driving on roads and yep. not just the tracks. So people were <laughs> speculating and yeah. stuff. But, uh, can we talk about that a little bit? What, what can sure. we say? Yeah. Okay. Free roam confirmed? Well, actually, you, you saw <laughs> a Morgan three wheelers. Uh, I did. Super That's three, okay. yeah. beautiful car, by the way. Yeah, amazing. I drove it uh, oh, yeah. uh, two, two years ago when we, we did yeah. the, negotiated the license. Also, because we want to, to find out how these cars uh, feel while you're driving that. It was quite an amazing experience because it was in uh, UK at minus eight degrees. Yes, which is, it always is in the UK. Of course. It, that was quite a warm day. It was, yeah. <laughs> and it's quite a beautiful car. Yeah. It's quite a beautiful car. So we chosen this car to, to show the, the, the road driving, actually, yeah, yeah, okay. with another car going the opposite way. So we confirm that uh, what you have seen in the trailer will, will come. Okay. To a lot of people, just to drive for the pleasure of drive uh, uh, road cars on the on roads. Yeah. So that's okay. It. We'll see how it develops. It's going from to there. be. It's going to be amazing. Okay. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. We'll find out sooner rather than later. I hope. Yeah. Okay. One of the things that I don't think has been touched upon by many people is uh, the multiplayer yeah. aspect. The online. Uh, obviously, with the first set of courses, you could uh, create a lobby on console or hire a server on PC. 
Uh, is that something that would, would be the case with Evo? Absolutely. What can you talk about in terms of the multiplayer aspects? Uh, well, uh, I don't want to unveil uh, too much now because we have some news coming, Definitely. but uh, we are working uh, to create uh, a very well organized ecosystem okay. for uh, the online sim racers. Right. Uh, that is uh, something that they ask us a lot and we listen. Okay. So we are going to create uh, an organized system for online racing right. on a regular basis so that you can find the, the event you want, uh, you can uh, ah, organize your calendar and things like this. Okay. Of course, we are working on the multiplayer and on the netcode as well. And also in the way how we organize the server management okay. in order to prevent cheating as much as we can. It's not just something that we are going to bring what we did uh, before, keeping it in uh, Evo. We are evolving it, uh, the system, quite a lot. Okay, so it should be a, a step on from what we've seen in previous Assassin's Creed games. Yes, 100%. And when you're saying there about organizing and finding races, that's all within the game. It's yes. not reliant on going to some random website. Or maybe a bit of both. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I know you can't say too much. <laughs> got to try. You've got to try. And a, a, a thing we, we have previously talked about, and I've written an article about on the Traction website, was uh, mods. I know for now we're focusing on uh, the game releasing, and that's sure. the main thing. But I just wondered if you could say in this interview uh, what the stance is, what the, the official line is on if this will ever support mods in some form in the future or not. Well, like in the first set of words, uh, modding yeah. will arrive at the end of the Early Access program. OK, so at the end of Early Access. Yeah. So we, we confirm that we want to have the modding. Yeah. The models will be happy because they will have uh, a, a quite powerful editor because uh, Interesting. the Assetto Corsa engine has been uh, remade from scratch. Yeah. Completely new engine and also completely new tools. What we want to do is uh, the, the, the goal, the ultimate goal to us uh, is to create a platform where actually the models can also work with the uh, uh, cars and track licensors ah, because okay. uh, we want to make them eligible to work uh, with, uh, yeah. uh, with the car manufacturers yeah. because uh, uh, we have seen that uh, it's quite important today uh, to respect the intellectual properties of the real manufacturers. We don't like to see uh, content grab from other games. Right. It's actually like uh, we, we sometimes we see content from AC stolen and grab it to other games. Yep, yep, yep. It's not fair because there is uh, no good in doing that because uh, you are not a modder, you are just uh, assembling things and copy and paste uh, a content from uh, another game. I see. We want to uh, give visibility to the talented modders and artists that create amazing content. So we want to create a platform that can give uh, appropriate visibility to them. Okay. And uh, giving also them, uh, making them eligible to work directly with the car manufacturer. So that you can imagine a model that can create an official car from uh, uh, Porsche or Volkswagen or uh, I don't know, Fiat, Alfa Romeo and so on. Would be great, we believe. And we guess that so it can uh, uh, make the modern community growing okay. in, in the right way. Okay, so to try and make it more sustainable and yeah. legitimate and still provide something that the community can, yeah. can make for. Fantastic, excited to see what that is. But before then, uh, we've got a final couple of quick questions because I see there's uh, some people talking very animated over there in Italian. I don't know what's going on, so I think it means our time is up. Okay, but yeah. Really quickly, uh, in the trailer, there was like an emphasis on uh, the driver's hands and maybe some clothing. Is that an element of customization? You can choose yes. the clothing in the game, is that correct? Yeah, because uh, uh, sometimes, I mean, uh, yeah. if you drive on road, uh, I guess uh, you will, will feel dumb uh, to yeah. uh, wear your uh, racing equipment or gloves or something yeah. like that. And also sometimes in track days, uh, on track, uh, you usually you don't uh, wear a uh, racing team wear something like that. So we, we decided to uh, give to our audience uh, uh, some more interesting things to do, like customizing your uh, drive avatar, okay. so that you can do whatever you want. Uh, yeah. Your skin, uh, your color, uh, your uh, whatever. Yeah. Including your team wear. So oh, okay. I can confirm that. Uh, Fully customizable avatar. Yeah. Okay. 
there's a very loud race car, we, so I hope the mic's no, picking up. We know microtransactions. Uh, no microtransactions. No. Okay, good one. Okay, final question. Roughly how many cars and tracks will there be at the launch of Early Access? Uh, we are working in order to uh, release not less than 20 cars. Okay. And uh, I guess five uh, circuits. Okay. The first uh, early access build. And then, well, that will and grow over time. Progressively, we will continue to feed, uh, as we did uh, in uh, AC1 and DCC, yeah. uh, the number of content and feature to the end of the early access program. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Marco. I really hope the end of the interview can be heard. But looking forward to Evo and seeing what the public say about it. I said Evo there. Evo. 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 <laughs> and um, you must have a very stressful weekend ahead of you. So thank you I very much so. for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. It's All always right. a pleasure. Speak soon.